This is the Kakagu TPMS tire pressure monitoring system for your car. This can be added on to any passenger car. The receiver for it plugs into your cigarette lighter and they give you sensors for each of the wheels. Let's take it out of the box. Okay, in the box we find the instruction manual. We find a couple of wrenches. I'll get back to those. A couple of different power options. Both go in your cigarette lighter, but I'll explain in a moment. A mounting bracket if you so choose. Here is the display itself. Here are the four sensors. I just have these two turned upside down so you can see it just screws onto your tire. They're all the same like that. And then you have another wrench along with these nuts. And they even gave you an extra one in case you lose one. So the idea is you put this on to the valve stem first. Then you screw this on. And once that's on, that will fit in the wrench here, like that, so you can see how it'll hold it. And then you take this wrench from behind and tighten this nut up against the sensor. That way, people won't just come by and just unscrew these from your car and that's the end of it. Now you have two different options for mounting this. You can have it as a dash mount or a window mount, I guess, if you want. Uh, or it can plug directly into your cigarette lighter. Let's start with that one and then I'll show you the other. Your first mount is directly onto the cigarette lighter itself. There's a little wire that is attached to the back of the screen that just plugs in. I'll see if I can unplug it for you there just so you see. Okay, and you just mount this lighter socket on there. Screw the nut down and this way you can angle it up or left or right or you know however you want as such. With the other option, you can have it as a window mount. So if you see that, which has an adhesive pad that could stick to your windshield, kind of at that angle, and then you have your display right there. Or if you just turn it the other way, this can be stuck down on top of your dashboard. And to power it that way, here is a plug with the appropriate jack there. And this goes in your cigarette lighter. And it also has a power button, which is lighted when it's turned on. It lights up in red, as you see. So I just have this temporarily rigged up to my jump pack here. And when I turn it on, you can see that lights up in red. Right now, nothing is paired up, so that's why it's going crazy like this. You have to just set it all up. And this is nice because the display is blue normally, or red when there's trouble. And it will beep, and you can, of course, turn that off as well. So just to show how these install, I put this nut on already. And you can screw that all the way down. And then you get the sensor itself. And screw that on. Seal that up. And then you get the wrench in from behind like that. And you can tighten it up so nobody will take that. Okay, so now I have all of the sensors on all of the tires. If we look in the upper left there it says 84 and below that it says 80 that's degrees Fahrenheit so that's the temperature you can clearly see all of the actual tire pressures it looks like I have one in the back right that is a little bit high and on the right is the PSI that you can set it for so it will alert you you can set that for the high and the low so if you wanted to alert you when your pressure is down to, let's say, 26 PSI, when it hits that, the screen will turn red, and it will start flashing at you and beeping at you and letting you know which tire is no good. And if you also look very closely in the center of the car, it says 11.9, so it also shows the voltage of your battery as well. So truly a lot of information on here, and very easy to install. They said about 15 minutes, and really that is just about all it took. It worked right out of the box. All of the sensors are marked left front, left rear, right front, right rear. You just screw them on the appropriate tires and tighten them down. Very simple, very easy, and it works. I just removed the left rear sensor so it thinks that tire is totally flat, and this is what it will do to alert you. 
And here I have three sensors removed, as if you had three flat tires, and notice it beeps three times. So it will alert you to how many tires as well by the number of beeps. So once again, this was the Kakagu TPMS Tire Pressure Monitoring System for your car. This is a great addition to any car. Some cars, of course, have that little yellow light on the dashboard that'll come on, and that's all fine and good, but those sensors in the wheel, those are like 70 bucks every time one of them goes bad, and you can't change the battery on that. You need to replace the entire sensor. These, the batteries can be changed. They take a CR1632, and they should last about uh, five years according to the manufacturer. Even if you have the system on your car with the light on the dash, most cars, unless you have a higher end car, don't show you the pressure of the tires. This will, and it will also show you the temperature as well. So a pretty nice set to add on to any vehicle. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.